<laughs> we're mm. celebrating 25 years of Patrick Goodall here on 12 News this morning. So where were you on June 3rd, 1998? Right here. Where were you, TJ? I was probably right here, too. <laughs> doing the weather. school somewhere. <laughs> yeah, elementary school, I guess. That was a day. Patrick Goodall oh, started here at WPRI 12. We have the photos to prove yep. it. And he's still going strong <laughs> 25 years later. <laughs> Take a look. From WPRI 12. Since May of 2010. And I'm Patrick Little. Patrick Little has been waking up Southern New England every single day. Good morning, I'm Patrick Little. Despite not drinking coffee at work, he's quick with a joke. <laughs> this is your chance. Hey, how are you guys? <laughs> it's, it's not on film. This is live TV, sir. We're on right now. First to post on social media and always knows the right thing to say, even at 4.30 in the morning. That 2.30 a.m. alarm clock, about the same time he likely went to bed for the 12 years he was at the station before switching to mornings. Patrick started at WPRI in June of 1998 as the weekend sports anchor. In 2000, he was named sports director. Patrick Little live in the Red Sox locker From 2000 to 2010, he's covered both Red Sox World Series, countless opening days, four Super Bowls. And this is Patrick Little in Jacksonville. Three NCAA basketball tournaments, the Daytona 500 three times, as well as several tennis and golf tournaments. That passion for sports still very evident during the morning news. But Pat has also proven to be the trusted source for breaking news and an advocate for others through stories like this one. As you look over here, you can see Matthew's locker. <sighs> Pat was trusted in telling the story of Matthew Dennison, the hockey star who died from his injuries sustained in an alleged drunk driving crash. His name up there, the captain. He worked his, his whole short life to get that title. You know, last year when my family went through a tragedy, you reached out and it wasn't as an anchor or a reporter from a news station. It was as another hockey dad. You let me tell the world about our son, Matthew. And for that, I am forever grateful. You also help us by bringing more awareness to the problem of driving while intoxicated and the devastating effects it can have on families. So I appreciate that. But most of all, I want to say congratulations on 25 years with WPRI. Recently, an unsung hero helping save a woman's life on his early morning drive to work. And as always, a proud husband and dad to his two sons, two stepsons, and daughter. I gotta share a proud dad moment with everybody. That's my daughter, Casey, 18 years old, and over the weekend, crowned Miss Fourth of July for the Bristol Fourth of July Parade. Times sure have changed, but Pat's keeping up with the changes, connecting with you not just on TV, but also social media, something he didn't have to worry about all those 25 years ago. Patrick, my friend, congratulations on 25 years at WPRI 12. What an accomplishment. I could always count on you to be quick-witted, to have the fastest comeback possible on live TV, but also to tell some really great stories and just be a genuine friend and someone the community could count on. So keep up the great work and congratulations. We really like each other. We get along just fine. We do. 25 years at the Big Dozen P. Little. I am so proud of you. That is really a major accomplishment. You know, when I left Channel 12, I thought I might miss you, but I'm actually like, I feel like I'm doing okay. Oh, I, I meant to take that screensaver down. <laughs> Wow. Lots of memories. We had that a lot is. of fun going through all of your old stuff well before, you know, the photographer Ryan Walsh and I uh, started here. But, yeah, you've had a lot of good times. <laughs> you to put that in there, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Uh, I'll tell you what. I love my job so much. It's a challenge every day. I love the challenge. The hardest part is when that alarm goes off yeah. at 2.40 and getting those feet on the floor. Once they're on the floor, we get here and we have so much fun. And we're so happy that you let us... Uh, you trust us to bring you the news every morning. So uh, here's to another 25 years, and I definitely am so happy that I have new clothes other than the ones I wore 20 years ago, 25 years ago. Thanks so much.